At the outset, I would like to express my profound gratitude and sincere appreciation through you to Honorable Minister Kushit, to the people and government of the Republic of India, for the warm reception and generous hospitality accorded to me and my delegation since our arrival here. Tanzania has high hopes of strong cooperation with India given the recent appointment of Mr. Kurshid as Minister for Foreign Affairs and wish this 12th Council meeting fruitful deliberations. Mr. Chairman, I wish to thank the Republic of India, the Chair, for hosting this meeting and its continued determined efforts aimed at realizing the objective of this august body. We also congratulate the Government of Australia, the Vice Chair, for working together with the Chair in providing leadership and moving the Association's development agenda. Tanzania appreciates the good work by the Secretariat under the able stewardship of the Secretary General, Ambassador Bagirat, and coordinating member states' projects and programs. Lastly, we thank the Committee of Senior Officials and relevant working groups and forums for a job well done in producing the report that will be tabled before us for discussion this afternoon. Mr. Chairman, I need not belabor on the relevance of the Indian Ocean Rim Association to its members, states, as well as the world at large. Despite the challenges we that we face, it is my firm conviction that Together we can overcome them if we concentrate our energies and efforts to effectively moving our objectives and agenda forward. Since the establishment of our association, tremendous progress has been registered in the implementation of various decisions and recommendations in the areas of business forum, trade and investment, and academic affairs. However, we need to speed up implementation of identified projects by member states by moving away from slow processes. Mr. Chairman, Tanzania is happy to note that a sister nation, Comoro, has applied for membership to our association. Undoubtedly, no sovereign state today can live in isolation given the dictates of global concerns. We therefore commend Comoro's decision to join this august body and its readiness to cooperate with us for mutual benefits. We look forward to working closely with the Union of Comoros. Mr. Chairman, Tanzania would like to thank all member states of this association for recommending further action on the proposal by Mozambique on sustainable aquaculture and artisanal fisheries. Likewise, we thank all member states who have shown interest in our concept note regarding enablement of Tanzania nationals to access the EEZ fishery. Indeed, the cry by Tanzania is a common factor of all the Eastern African member states of this association. In this case, if the capacity of fishers is enhanced as requested, firstly, it will propel the cardinal agenda of poverty reduction through employment creation and income generation for our people. And secondly, they will increasingly access fishery resources of our EEZ, which are by license now wholly and exclusively exploited by distant water fishing nations. I therefore request member states to accept this concept note to be developed to a fully fledged project. At this juncture, I would like to thank the Sultanate of Oman for their readiness to provide technical support in this area, including development of a bankable project. May I also thank the Sultanate of Oman for the resolve to sponsor a workshop on sea cucumber farming scheduled to take place in Zanzibar in the near future. At, it, at its 11th Council meeting, Mr. Chairman, held in Bangalore in November 2012, this Council approved six priority areas of cooperation, namely fisheries management, maritime safety and security, trade and investment facilitation, disaster risk reduction, science and technology, tourism promotion and cultural exchanges. I therefore urge the distinguished member states to make the best use of the approved priorities or the economic development of our nations. In conclusion, Mr. Chairman, I would like to state that the United Republic of Tanzania stands firm in its commitment to closely cooperate with the Chair 
the Secretariat, member states, as well as other relevant stakeholders of the IORRC in our joint efforts to achieve sustainable economic growth and development of the Indian Ocean Rim. I wish you fruitful liberation. Thank you for your attention.